before this video gets started, uh, if you guys want to skip to the Japan vlog, skip to this timestamp I put on the screen right here. If you guys want to see me take one of my best friends to the Drake concert here in LA last week before I came to Japan, watch the first few minutes of this video. If not, like I said, skip to this timestamp. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get 500 likes on this video, man. Um, it's a long video and I had a good time in Japan. So um, yeah, man, enjoy the video. Thank you guys, love you, peace. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Scott and I'm back for another video. It's about 8. It's about 8 in the morning right now. And uh, about to line up uh, Drake tonight at Crypto. Um, general admission. Uh, basically you have to line, in, line up early if you want to have like early entry basically. And so that's what we're doing. Um, Got my best friend coming along, and uh, yeah, man, going to his he's going to his first Drake show, so let's go. Just pulled up. There you go. I'd say we're probably like probably like three hundred. 250-300 deep probably if I had to guess not terrible really wasn't the goal to get to the front anyways but just to get the early entry I mine's moving <laughs> you just don't know got these little tickets now we're going inside I think to get the wristband all right, y'all, getting ready for the show. It's like 3.30, I think. I'm gonna head out early. Yeah. All right, y'all, baggy, minimal pants. Jordan 4s. Throwback Kobe jersey. Little, little, little crisp crypto uh, band. So, where the party is, bro? Little eight. The party airs? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Wristbands <laughs> up, guys. Stick to the right. Stick to the right. Oh, nice. Let's go. Happy birthday, my G. <laughs>
crazy. I got slippers. All right, man. Just board it. Got my seat. 11 hours flight ahead. 10 hours probably. So, I'm ready, man. I've been preparing all week for this. So, we ready. Oops. What we got in here? I need that. Oh, I mask, oh, I need that. I need that. Sure. For sure. Okay. Soft tissue, earplugs, dental kit, probably some socks it looks like. Let's go, man. Uh, let's see what these uh, footrest things do. Let's just see. in a second but it's been a doozy so far in uh, Tokyo but just got to our hotel oh shit my bed's right here bro I can't even come in oh, <laughs> I was about to say I was like oh no so okay so I guess these rooms are really small so let's uh let's see oh you gotta put maybe put the key in the door on the wall wait what the thing on the wall oh no this is bad Dude. Bro, we're at the, we 
turned off the airplane. <laughs> we did literally. My seat was bigger than this. And it's hot. Did you put the key on the wall? What wall? It's like a light up. Yo, what? It's on the wall. Oh, oh I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, answer. Turn this off. I don't care. All right, bro, it is. Hold on. It's so hot. I don't even know what temperature that is. Uh, I figured out it's like 20, 21 Celsius what I'm trying to go for. But as you can see, 7.20 p.m. Flew out of L.A. at 11.50 p.m. yesterday. So you can imagine how that feels. I think it's like 4 a.m. in L.A. right now. 7 p.m. here so really just trying to stick it out till it's actually bedtime out here you know fall asleep at a normal time here to try to adjust to the day but yeah, about to shower here in a sec probably go back out so we'll see what happens next all right y'all just uh hopped out the shower real quick um i guess i can show it to you guys so let me just come over here can't really see because my sh towel but um you know it's, it's it's pretty small you know it is it is comfy good got the ac working i feel like i could you know have a good night to sleep here um i'm slowly figuring it out turning the water on was a like i i couldn't figure out how to do it because it's all connected to one faucet. It's just crazy. Everything is just in a different language. And it's like, it's weird. Like I was talking to uh, Rich about this earlier, but like when you see this kind of city or just, you know, anything else outside of the US, if you live in the US and you see these kind of cities and it just seems like absolutely so foreign that it doesn't seem real. Now that I'm being here, this is my first time out of uh, the U.S. like in terms of like overseas. I've been to Canada, so that's the farthest I've been, I guess, out of the country. So it's weird though, like when your feet are planted here, it isn't much different. Everything else is just in a different language. Of course, that's a big deal because I can't read nothing. Anyways, yeah, no, like I was saying, it's just like it's all the same in a way, but like it feels the same. Everything's just different. It's hard to describe. People who have you know been overseas or whatever can probably understand what i'm saying but i don't know like it's even as simple as like we got a domino's menu here i don't know what that says obviously i can look at the photos but i just download the google translate app and you can like take a photo and then it'll translate everything on the the paper for you also okay let me explain to you guys what happened this afternoon so we landed at like 2 30 right we're sitting at the hotel. You got to go through customs. Um, got through like two things of customs. You got to talk to different people, finally get through, get our bags. At that point, it's like taking this walk to get a car. And then we were waiting for them to get the cars. And then by that time, we had to wait, go down this elevator, get in another vehicle to take us to where the cars are. And then we had to wait for them to get confirmation with the cars. And then by that time, it was another 50 minute drive just to get into the city. So it's just been a long day. I haven't had no service. I guess my Verizon plan or something doesn't have international. I don't know. So this has been the first time in like four or five hours I've been able to actually look at things on my phone, social media, stuff like that. But yeah, it's like 8 p.m. now. Uh, I think it's like 4 a.m. in L.A. So yeah, very backwards but I'm doing okay hanging in there. I know I'm doing a lot of talking just in my hotel with my shirt off, but uh, I think we're gonna go out for a little bit tonight. And so let's see, you know, see what we're doing next. Top of this building, about to have a nice dinner. Rich's birthday and Alan's birthday. So let's, uh, we're gonna have our food soon. So let's see what it is. Oh my gosh.
Good morning, Japan. All right, y'all. Um, got some time here to real quick by myself before we go out and film um i needed some food we went to mcdonald's earlier it really wasn't that good i just felt like i needed something so starbucks i love starbucks so i'm trying japanese starbucks english muffin egg sausage and I'm not really sure if that's like salsa or something but i mean here goes nothing man i gotta find something to eat out here can't go on with that it's not horrible. I think it's just salsa. I didn't recognize what kind of sausage it was, though. I could not recognize that. It's not bad. Also, I think, um, I don't want to jinx myself, but I think my, I think my body's already kind of adjusted to, uh, the time i slept like six seven hours last night 4 a.m to probably like 10 a.m and woke up feeling fine got enough hours so i think i'm chilling like i said i don't want to jinx it but i know what time it is in la i think i'd be getting ready for bed in la right now I'm not here it's like 2 p.m it's all good just not thinking about it hope you guys are enjoying the vlog let's see what else we get into All right, all these streets of Tokyo, all the guys, they, uh, they're doing a, a Mario Kart, go-kart street tour. It's like an hour here with Johnny. Gang, gang. Um, yeah, so we just here in like the, the filming cart, um, just filming, getting clips. We got the mic on dub, getting photos and stuff, but it definitely doesn't seem safe. Um, <laughs> But you know, <laughs> uh, you know it's all good. You know, it's where, it's where life takes you, and we just we just go with the flow. So yeah, uh, Japan's crazy. All right, so we have an uh, electric-powered uh, golf cart thing here. Um, coming towards the end of our ride, kind of, but uh, it, it stopped working. Flashing red light, so. Uh, Pray for me, guys. Probably gonna have to taxi from here. I'll have to see, but. Yeah. Yeah, Cars don't care, bro. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's dead. <laughs> bro, I hate this kind of stuff. I got the footage. All right, so I think we're about to pull it up on this sidewalk. Literally had to push it all the way back from back there. All the way over here. Just got back from the club. You guys are gonna see this in um, in this dub vlog here. Um, I'm now kind of currently taking f almost full-time editing ownership, I guess you could say. Um, so that's why I'm up at four in the morning because I think it's like I want to say it's probably like past noon in LA so gotta try to get this video up between the next five hour I don't know I mean depending on when we wake up I'm not really sure but um, yeah just editing just showing you guys the grind I'm sure this camera angle is just terrible I don't even know what it looks like but it's really late I'm gonna finish this up and then go to bed so that's kind of it man day two day two and a half in Tokyo tiring day so we'll see what's happening tomorrow but appreciate you guys sticking with me throughout this vlog if you have so in these streets by myself nobody knows what I'm saying so I can really just say whatever but I'm not gonna lie man third day or second day Man, I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling Tokyo. It's just too much, too much going on. Too many people. Not enough normal. It's just completely different way of life out here. No easy access to things. Bro, the thing I had to do to get this town on, bro. I literally had to wait in line for 10 minutes in the store that fit nobody 
and there's a thousand people in the store. Like, what do these people all need? I don't want to sound like I'm hating, even though I am. <sighs> but I'm getting tired off because I feel like I have a little cold coming on. Not like a serious one. My throat feels like it's kind of getting scratchy, so head kind of hurts. Terrible. All right, I made it back to my room. Just took the Tylenol. Um, I know it sounds like I'm kind of like frustrated in a way. Uh, it sounds just very dramatic for some reason. I'm frustrated, but yeah, Japan's been cool, man. But I feel like, you know, through everybody else, you guys can kind of see like, it is like, it's just, it's hard to be here as someone from, you know, the United States and just, I don't know, I feel like almost how easy we have it out there in a sense. I mean, I don't really know. It's just like trying to find food feels like impossible and anything good. Like it all just feels the same. And obviously we can't read it and obviously just don't know what it is, but it just doesn't seem accessible or I don't know, like maybe it's the area we're staying in. It might be this area because talking to some people from here and who know things about it, they say this is like, you can compare this to like downtown LA. And if you live in LA, you don't really go downtown. So, you know, I can see why maybe this isn't the most appealing part. Um, but we did go to this nice burger place today. It was okay, but tried KFC today too. Just wasn't, it's just not it. Like just haven't had something that was good food. I don't, I don't know where to look at this point. I think the best thing we had was when we went to, uh, it's called C'est La Vie, but it was like this expensive pasta that I had and everybody else had like Wagyu stuff. And I don't know, man, it's just been, draining i forgot to bring my uh my shaving razor thing so scruffy skylar is back but um yeah i think just the it's just an overwhelming experience i think it's just a lot it's just brand new it don't even feel real being out in these streets it's, yeah bro I, I don't know only got like tomorrow the tomorrow's the last full day and we dip out on monday so I'm gonna be excited to get back to like regular routine in life because this is this is hard. It, it's pretty hard. The sleeping and it feels weird sleeping at night because I know I should be awake. Like right now, people are getting up and it's like my night's just starting. So just being so far ahead of time is just weird that I'm used to and my brain and my head. It's just a lot. So by the end of this video, I'll have an overall conclusion for visiting Tokyo. But today was. Today, honestly, was probably one of the best days we had. Um, it wasn't too hectic. We were just walking around this place that kind of looks like Rodeo in LA, a little bit super nice shopping, all the designer stuff. So it was honestly pretty relaxing and just not too crazy. We were just walking around the whole day. So I enjoyed today probably the most. So yeah, man, but I think we're going out to another club tonight. So let's keep going on. All right, y'all, sorry for the lack of vlog footage. I'm now at the airport by myself. They went to the first class lounge and Johnny's buying something but the line is long so I'm going to the gate uh beard Skyler checking back in because I forgot my razor in LA so I have nothing to shave with but it's been quite the day quite the last 24 hours and um I'm gonna be honest y'all I probably have a clip in here I cut it up a little bit probably because I didn't like it but um I was saying I wasn't really feeling Japan or whatever and just kind of just seemed hard to just figure out what to eat and stuff but i really didn't vlog none of it we did on dub's channel but we went to like the super nice area two days in a row we're shopping walking around weren't sitting in long ubers and had good food and honestly i had a way better time we were just in the wrong area so take back kind of what i was saying um because i mean it's cool here it's cool i'm tired like you can see my guys my face i feel like i'm a new person right now since the beginning of the trip with the sleep all that stuff uh it's just been a doozy it's like i said that already but i don't know man i just appreciate you guys support and the fact that i'm even here is just insane and it's 6 p.m here and when we fly we land at 12 p.m in la so i'm getting a whole day back i'm gonna try to sleep most of this plane to make it seem like you know i slept in la like because it's gonna be we're flying overnight in la so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it's probably one of my longest vlogs um best i could do you guys know my circumstance but ready to get back though ready to get back to normal routine normal life normal food can't do this for too long so 
Also, end of the video surprise for any of you guys who stick around, but something special happened last night. Not sure if I can talk about it yet, and I'm not sure, you know, if it's gonna come to fruition, but uh, worked on something last night, filmed something. Super excited to show you guys. Um, I gotta get home and edit it, if you guys can guess. So, I'm excited for the opportunity. You guys will know when it when it comes up, but yeah. I'm just grateful, man. So, we got this flight in like an hour. I'm ready to hop on. Got my nice leg room again. I'll vlog that for you guys. Might as well just keep videoing, but uh, yeah, I got the nice seat again. So, I'm really looking forward to that. That's it for now. Let's, uh, let's get on this plane. You guys know the vibes already. Socks, eye mask, little kit. I don't even bother to use it. I'll probably just use it when I get back to LA, whatever they got in here, but Saks Fifth Blanket. You know, I wonder what they do with these blankets. Do they wash them and reuse them, or is it like one use and they just throw these away? Like, I don't know. All right, y'all have made it back home. Finally in my apartment. Um, It's crazy. I'm basically living Monday twice. It's 3 p.m. in LA and 3 p.m. in Japan, I was on my way to the airport. The last clip you guys saw me walking in the airport was at like 5 p.m. Monday. And now it's 3 p.m. Monday. I've time traveled officially and I'm living the same day twice. So this is the longest day ever for me. I guess that's a cool flex, I guess, for just now. But I basically have to stay up until normal time tonight and treat today like normal and go to bed at a normal time. I did get some sleep on the plane. It went by faster than I thought, so that was good. Yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. See you guys in the next vlog. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the comments below. I'm going to keep uploading for y'all. So thank you guys. Things coming on the way. And yeah, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Wow. Peace.